I don't feel sorry for Sargon for having his channel demonetized. I mean, considering that someone can have their video demonetized if they say the word lesbian in it, or if they have a swear word in it, or if they say depression in it. You know, it's not a surprise that most of Sargon's videos by themselves would get demonetized anyway. So what's the big deal if the whole channel gets demonetized? It's just not surprising at all. But, but, but Sargon, Sargon's a really great guy. Really? His main type of humor isn't about actually being funny. It's about, oh, that really triggered some snowflakes. <laughs> That's what his humor is all about. That's what some, some of these jackasses on this, this platform, that's what their humor is about. You're not laughing because something is funny. You're laughing at the thought of triggering other people. Now, I'm not saying it's, it's not valid humor, but it certainly isn't funny to most people. The only people it's usually funny to are, again, the ones who, who get off on triggering snowflakes. Then you have Sargon saying things like this. I'm not, I'm not judging you for being a Nazi. No, I don't think Hitler was sadistic, okay? I don't think Adolf Hitler was a sadistic man. On top of everything else. I mean, Sargon thinks that he's going to deflect... I just think about his whole, the whole rape thing. He's th he thinks he's going to deflect the criticism of his uh, I wouldn't even rape you with this. There's been an awful lot of talk about whether I would or would not even rape Jess Phillips. I've been in a lot of trouble for my hardline stance of not even raping her. I suppose with enough pressure I might cave. But let's be honest, nobody's got that much beer. <laughs> That's not a good deflection. And one of the reasons why he says that he even made that that joke of a comment towards towards her in the first place is because oh she was she was laughing at at uh, men's suicide it's like no she wasn't laughing at that she was laughing because men so the opportunity for men to raise issues that are important to them is very limited and just to give you a flavor mr chairman of the type of things that may may come up on which will be part of international Men's Day, I'm, I'm not entirely sure why it's so humorous, but to yeah, discuss yeah. issues such as... Uh, you have to excuse me for laughing, that the idea that men don't have the opportunity to ask questions in this place is a frankly laughable thing, as I say, as this, as the only woman on this committee. That's what she was laughing at. But Sargon, of course, completely misinterprets what she said and assumes that what she's saying is that uh, it's funny, it's humorous, it's laughable that, that men are, are having, committing suicide. You know, it, it, the whole, his whole joke about that was based off of a false premise. You know, but no, we should, we should feel sorry for Sargon. No, I, I don't feel sorry for Sargon. Just like I don't feel sorry for Trump. When Trump gets pummeled with insults, I don't feel sorry for him. You know, if you have a mouth like that, you know, and I don't mean physically, I mean, you know, if, if you... If the main things that you say are to be as caustic as possible, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to feel sorry for you when you, get, when you get a bunch of insults hurled at you. I'm not going to feel sorry for you when you have negative things happen. Now, I don't think he should be physically assaulted or anything like that, but the kind of treatment that he's given is not something that I'm going to feel sorry for him. You know, if, if you're gonna make if you're gonna make your living off of being a jackass, expect people to be pissed off. You know, Sargon of Akkad, Carl Benjamin is no George Carlin, not by any stretch of the imagination. George Carlin got a lot of people to laugh at his humor. The only people laughing at Carl's humor again are the ones who who get off on triggering snowflakes. That's not what George Carlin's act was about. George Carlin was actually funny.